Have you ever um, stared at the oil in a can of sardines yeah. and wondered, is this actually okay to eat? Or, you know, should I just pour it down the drain? I know I used to just toss it. It's a pretty common dilemma, actually. And it prompted today's deep dive, sparked by a really great question from one of our listeners who happens to be a former consul general. So let's dig in. Yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it, how a simple, everyday question like that can lead us to, well, unravel a widespread food myth. And it really highlights the importance of critical thinking, especially when it comes to what we eat. Our guide for this is Professor Lin's recent article, Is the Oil in Canned Sardines Edible? Rich in Omega-3, Multiple Uses. So our goal here is really to use clear scientific evidence to answer this for everyone, you know, even if you don't have a background in biomedical science. Right. So before we even get to the oil itself, let's talk about the fish. Professor Lin really stresses that those beneficial omega-3s we hear so much about, they primarily come from sea fish. The American Heart Association, for instance, recommends eating fish twice a week. And yep, sardines definitely count. And that's such a crucial point. There's a 2023 paper Professor Lin cites, which actually encourages eating more whole sardines instead of just relying on fish oil supplements. Oh, so supplements. Why is that? Well, the reason is pretty compelling. Sardines offer this complete nutrient matrix. Think of it like a uh, a natural package deal. It's got the omega-3, sure, but also essential stuff like calcium, potassium, magnesium, zinc, iron, taurine, and arginine. Mm -hmm. These are vital things that, you know, isolated supplements often just don't have. And even when they're canned, sardines remarkably keep their rich omega-3 content. A 2022 study confirmed that. Okay, that nutrient matrix idea sounds incredible. So the fish itself is clearly a powerhouse, but then what about the oil it's swimming in? That's the core question here, isn't it? Is it safe or maybe even beneficial? Right, the oil. Well, the scientific evidence on this is actually quite clear now. Research going back quite a way, like 1999 and 2004, already indicated that the packing oil absorbs beneficial fatty components, including omega-3s, directly from the fish itself. Okay, so it picks things up from the fish. Exactly. And uh, very recent research from this year, using a pretty advanced technique called 1HNMR, it basically maps out the chemical compounds. That study definitively reported that the covering oil in canned sardines contains anywhere from 2% up to a significant 17% omega-3. Wow. Hold on. Up to 17%. That's that's a lot. It is. It can be quite a potent source depending on the product. That really shifts things. So it's not just scientifically okay to eat, but it actually has real nutritional value. And I've seen this reflected elsewhere too. Culinary websites, you know, they confirm it's edible and suggest using it. Like for cooking, maybe stir frying garlic and onions or cooking potatoes or using it in salad dressings, vinaigrettes, maybe even as a spread. Yes, but this brings us to a really important nuance. And this is where that critical thinking comes back in. It's not just about whether the oil is edible, full stop. The type of oil used and crucially how the sardines are processed makes a huge difference to the health aspect. Ah, okay, so what should we be looking out for then? Does it matter what kind of oil they're actually canned in? Absolutely, it matters. Professor Lin highlights a critical caveat here. High temperature frying during the canning process, that can actually destroy the omega-3s. Oh, right. Heat damage. Precisely. So sardines canned using oil that's been heated to high temperatures are inherently less healthy in terms of omega-3s than those preserved in, say, cold-pressed olive oil. You definitely need to check the label for how they were prepared. It should give you some clues. Good point. That makes sense. And uh, on that note, Professor Lin also strongly advises choosing canned sardine products with less salt whenever possible. Another thing to watch for on the label. Okay, that's a very practical takeaway. Check the processing method. Check the salt content. So what does this all mean for us then? The bottom line seems to be that the oil in your sardine can isn't just waste. It's not only edible, but often a valuable source of omega-3. The key, though, is making smart choices about the type of oil and the processing involved. Exactly. And if we kind of zoom out a bit from just sardines, this whole deep dive perfectly illustrates the value of, well, asking questions about everyday things. It shows why it's important to seek out evidence-based information and to really understand the subtleties behind common assumptions, particularly when it comes to our health and nutrition. It encourages that critical thinking we mentioned. It really does. It makes you think. What other food myths might be lingering right there in your pantry, just waiting for a little bit of scientific curiosity to reveal their true nature? Yeah.